Leeds found that Julian Assange has been under self-imposed house arrest for 1,718 days. So I wanted to explore what it feels like to be voluntarily so cut off from the world and yet still so connected. But I'm not going to the Ecuadorian Embassy and I'm not even in London. I'm here on the rainy streets of Liverpool where an art exhibition invites you inside Julian Assange's office and maybe inside his head. This is Julia Sanchez's office. First impression, I guess, is just how mundane it is. But imagine spending a whole life in here. Now, obviously this is only a recreation, it's an artist's impression of Julian Assange, but if we look at the little details, we can try and imagine how Julian Assange might see himself. So, if we look at the bookcase over here, uh, we see authors like uh, Slavoj Zizek, uh, Irving Welsh, Quentin Tarantino, um, iconoclasts and bad boys all. We also have Neil Stevenson's Zodiac, which is a book about a, uh, a lone hero fighting against corporations and conspiracies. And we also have Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. On the wall here we've got a child's drawing of a man making a daring zipline escape away from this building over the heads of some of these very angry looking policemen, uh, presumably to freedom. I've been here a little while now and one thing that's really struck me is I can see out of that window there's people bustling around and I can hear music and there's people coming in and out and I wonder if uh, this is what it's like for Julian Assange to be confined in this space but also to be constantly painfully reminded that the world is still out there, still spinning on without him and it's, uh, it's really strange and troubling to think that someone who's subjecting themselves to this weird solitary confinement can still reach out with technology and influence the world, influence elections and uh, shape a world that he only really sees through that window and through these screens. I mean I've only been here a couple of hours and already I can feel my world really shrinking. So I'm going to do one thing that Julian Assange can't do from within these four walls. I'm going to walk out the door. <laughs> 